Hi, this is Ken Clipperton, Principal Storage Analyst for the Data Center Intelligence Group, reporting in from Flash Memory Summit 2023, with a few takeaways from the event for those of you who didn't have the privilege to attend. Uh, first of all, although the economic slowdown has been frequently mentioned at this event, there been huge amounts of energy nonetheless, and uh, attendance was registered at uh, 3,278 uh, people registered. Uh, and it looks like a lot of those people actually showed up. Uh, certainly that economic slowdown uh, has emphasized for folks a focus on sustainability and costs and the idea of sustainability done right uh, can lower costs. So energy efficiency, uh, storage density, uh, performance density uh, increasing uh, in the data center is certainly uh, a driver that enables uh, sustainability. It's a bigger picture than that, depending on which vendor you talk to, the different ways they approach that. I know uh, Seagate representative uh, mentioned how they are recycling more than a million hard drives annually. And in the process, they're trying to capture as much as possible those rare earth uh, materials, rare materials, uh, and recycling them since they're uh, disposable of them is bad for the environment and it's costly to get them in the first place. So again, sustainability has many uh, faces, as it were. Uh, another key theme uh, has been artificial intelligence. I think it's been mentioned in every session I've attended, every keynote, uh, you know, it's a big theme. Uh, and it makes sense at a flash memory or a memory focused event, uh, memory and storage, all about high performance uh, at scale. One of the key enablers of that scale uh, advances in the CXL specification and the delivery of real products based on that. That's the Compute Express Links link. It runs on top of PCI Express and it's an open standard for high speed host to device connections. An early application of it is to connect large pools of memory, whether that's DRAM or persistent memory, uh, via the PCI uh, bus, both inside and beyond the box. I saw optical technology that would allow uh, you to connect memory via CXL at up to 10 meters uh, via optical fibers. So uh, you can think in a row uh, of machines, you could have many, many servers all connecting to this large pool of memory in a different rack. Same row probably, but a different rack. And uh, that'll continue to expand. Very high performance, uh, and they're real products that are being delivered now, and solving big memory problems, essentially. Also a lot of discussion, uh, and we saw many products on the floor today implementing PCIe version five, which doubles the bandwidth uh, from PCI 4, uh, so a lot of more performance can be uh, driven in the same amount of space. And of course, PCI 6 devices are down the road probably a couple years yet, uh, but those will double that yet again. And uh, the next standard for CXL will be based on uh, PCI 6. So the big takeaway is that for things that really matter, uh, there's huge collaboration going on. Uh, the, the CXL uh, group has now more than 250 members. That's technology companies participating in the standard uh, development process and implementing the standard. They're their first kind of interoperability lab in January, so there's now a, a set of products that are proven to interoperate, and they've got another uh, round of that interoperability testing uh, coming up, I believe, in October, uh, where a whole bunch more devices are likely to have, uh, to be able to pass that interoperability testing. So they're real products that early adopters can go out and choose now. Uh, for those uh, who are not quite as aggressive uh, in terms of having problems they need to solve that big memory could solve, uh, likely more to be you know, 12 to 24 months uh, before we're seeing uh, products are being just integrated into mainstream uh, enterprise IT uh, solutions. Uh, but they're certainly coming. The standards are robust. The collaboration uh, is robust. And uh, so again, lots of energy at Flash Memory Summit 2023. Good things happening 
uh, in spite of the slowdown in economic activity around the acquisition of IT infrastructure. Well, that's it for Dow. Thank you very much.